Come on, hello, hello, and happy Monday to all my amazing Virgos. Let's get right into your reading. What can you expect this week, Virgos? Happy New Year, happy Monday, happy new moon. <laughs> Let's get into it, Virgos. Let's go. Most I got in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Virgos as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality, and where my Virgos need to take action. Virgos, this is a general reading. These are the Light Sears Tarot deck. In case anybody cares to know, let's get into your reading. Virgos. Yes, somebody has a guardian angel watching over them. Very nice. All right. Let's put this over here for just a second. Let me see if I can position the camera so you all can see. I did have it positioned down for the other signs. I'm not sure. Let's see what happened here. Uh-huh. Higher font card out the deck. One of your sister signs and then the world card another one of your sister signs all right let's see okay we have the knight of cups we have the seven of cups somebody is thinking about an ex hmm somebody who um was a snake energy causing them to be a little sad and depressed here we have um we also have the five of cups Somebody has the seat, the world card. Uh huh. We have the wheel of fortune, and we also have the higher font. Okay. All right. So look, this is what you can expect this week. I see somebody's perspective changing, right? Okay. We know that somebody dated a snake. Somebody, but this snake came into your life to get you to stop doubting yourself, stop doubting your intuition, right? So the snake was not meant to steal, kill, or destroy your vision. Or get you to, but it was more or less just like to come into your life to get you to start listening to your intuition. Like I knew it. Very I'm trying to remember. I don't think I've ever remember remember meeting a Virgo whose intuition was not spot on about something. Right. Usually it's when it's other people around you that's distracting you that you feel like oh, I'm not really sure if I should trust my intuition or not. But you're getting back to learning how to trust your intuition so that you're not like this, like over analyzing a situation causing your your emotions to dry up like all these tears crying and well there's no more emotions like I just don't have any more tears to cry so I'm just sad and depressed you're not doing that anymore so somebody you had deep 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 emotions for the person seemed like they were a sweetheart it could have been an ex-lover it could have been a family member that was just like so nice when you were younger so sweet and now you're seeing they were really a snake mm, right you're seeing them for what they really are, right? And so, unfortunately, um, you know, we talk about snake energy. You know, I don't like to necessarily assign low vibrating energy to people in particular because the purpose of you see, like you taking the, you seeing the, seeing their behavior for what it really is, is that they, they chose this because they have had so many encounters where they trusted people. And it, this is not giving them a pass at all. <clears throat> Excuse me, Virgo. This is not giving them a pass. So they could have done right by you, but they didn't. That's, the, that's just the bottom line. They just didn't, right? And so um, for some of you all, it, it is really, really disheartening and sad, right? So you don't have to cry anymore tears. I see, as a matter of fact, I see a lot of you all healing i see a lot of you all being a lot more happy a lot more like because again you're changing your own perspective you're like you know what i'm glad the mask fell off i'm glad i saw what i needed to see it's time for me to move on right so a lot of you all have gone back to thinking about work a lot of, a lot of you all are going to be very happy with work you have time and again money on your side in your favor so right now a lot of you all are thinking expansion this is what's happening this week you know, thinking about expansion, thinking about long-term goals, your dreams, ambitions. Some of you all have put together vision boards of what you want things to look like. Because emo you're like, I'm not giving that any more emotion. I'm just moving past it. Like, this card right here is about perspective. Your perspective has changed. You're like, I'm just not giving that person any more emotions. I'm not crying another tear. I'm not getting upset over it anymore. I just don't have any more emotions to give to it because I see that it was blocking my happiness at work, it was it was throwing my focus off in other areas of my life. I'm just not giving it any more emotions. So again, this person could be a family member that you love deeply, that you had high regard or respect for, and that you love, you know, that just, you know, <laughs> you just all cried out. Like, I just don't have any other tears. It could have been a lover, ex-lover. It could have been anybody that you love very deeply, but you're not putting any more emotions in, behind it at all. Matter of fact... 
I see you vetting your emotions. I see you putting your emotions away. This right here, this cup is filled with water. Your emotions and your intimacy and your creativity. It's all right here. You're putting it away. You're like, I'm not. Now, I, I had see what happened, Virgo, is that you had to go through this situation with somebody that you love that deep. Like I said, family member, uh, a friend, a lover, somebody that, that was like, you always had this vision in your mind that they were just like so sweet and so nice and so this and that. Somebody that you really love that deep. We're not talking about like surface friendships or somebody that you work with. This is somebody that you really, really love, right? Just disappointed you because they kept choosing their lower vibration. Now that you've walked away from that, e that emotion, you change your own perspective because you had to do it. It, it wasn't them because they weren't going to change. Um... Again, you're learning how to trust your intuition again, but you're feeling a lot better. I see a lot of you all going out, taking nice nature walks, like getting out in the sun, just removing all that stale energy like it's a new year, it's a new moon, it's a, the start of a new week. I'm not bringing that energy to this into this week with me. So you're at the end of a long and arduous journey. That's why I know somebody either related to you or somebody you were in a romantic relationship with or maybe even a friendship with because this has been a long journey for you of enlightenment. So, yeah, kudos to you, Virgo. Kudos to you. Somebody's been overthinking it, overanalyzing it, emotionally just drained. You didn't have any more energy to even give it anymore. But... Thank God for ancestors. <laughs> ancestors were showing out, like really putting that fire up under you saying, just move on. That's just how they are. Don't even give it any more energy. Get back to having fun. You know what you like to do. You like to work on projects at work. You like to keep busy. You know, you like to analyze things. You like to keep busy. So just focus on that. I see a lot of you all being victorious at it. You just, well, again... Virgo, y'all know what I'm talking about. You've, you've met people in your own family. You just look at them and you just shake your head and you say, you know what, it is what it is. Let me just move on. I'm not giving it any more energy. That person could be a um, Leo, Aries, or um, Sagittarius. They really could be any sign. I mean, you can go through any of this. You can go through all of the signs here because all of the signs are up here. Um, let me see. Um... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Literally, we got Capricorn up there. Uh huh. Uh huh. You got Taurus there. I mean, it could. It really, really could be any sign. <laughs> it could be any sign because they could have any. You, they could have all the signs in their birth chart. But nevertheless, all I know for you is that this is a person that you love, love really, really deep, and you're just you just been emotionally drained and exhausted, and you just decided, you know what? Let me just change my perspective because I'm not gonna give the. I'm not gonna give these people power over my emotions. It was affecting every part of my life, and I'm just not doing it anymore. So that's what I see for you this week. Let's pull two oracle cards and see what's said. Expect a powerful change. Yep. All because you changed your perspective. I'm telling you, somebody has a guardian angel watching over them, Virgo, saying, listen, just let it go. Just just release that energy into the universe and get back to living your best life because you, you're not going to change them. That's just who they are. Just let that snake slither away. Just let it slither away and out of your life. Connecting with your ancestors. I'm telling you, your ancestors are on the case. <laughs> They're on the case like Nancy Grace. That's what I have for you. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Continue having a fantastic week. I know you will because that's the intention you set. Bye.